Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now the middle of March of 2023, and with The Mandalorian Season 3 now officially out on Disney+, Plus, fans are really awaiting Chapter, of course, 20 to really be a big shift in tone by John, George, and Dave, as well as other creators involved on top of all of this. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. Now, given that Kathleen Kennedy is supplying test footage on a weekly basis to the Disney executives for not just the Acolyte, but also for Skeleton Crew, in order to really set the record straight on exactly where things are heading for the opening and ending sequences of the actual shows, as well as various random sequences on top of that. Now, the latest has a lot to do with an opening scene for the Acolyte TV show. We discussed this about seven to eight days ago, about how Disney executives have been very unhappy about the opening scene of the Acolyte, and more test footage was supplied by Kathleen Kennedy to the Disney board, and they still are very unhappy to this day, and we're going to be diving into every specific detail about what went wrong and exactly what kind of changes are on the horizon and what Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie Headland were attempting to accomplish with this particular opening scene that serves as a flash forward for, of course, the Acolyte show. Now, in case you guys did not know, the Acolyte series, as of right now, is going to be eight episodes long with 60 minutes each episode. So basically, it is going to be a full hour per episode with credits, of course, excluded. That's basically the overall game plan by Lucasfilm and Disney as, as of this moment right now. On top of this, though, however, that brings us to what's going on with the actual Acolyte series. Now, with Disney and Lucasfilm now focusing on fine-tuning the roadmap in order to approach a bigger success for the franchise, creators John and Dave are preparing to make some big announcements not just at Celebration, but also at, of course, D23. However, Kennedy recently presented more test footage to Disney executives about the Acolyte opening scene that involves a major retcon to the franchise and serves as a major red flag as well that Disney board members are now very unhappy with on our debating on erasing the entire scene altogether, which would reduce the first episode from being a full 60 minutes to 45 minutes long, unless they reshoot. The opening scene test footage that Kennedy presented is said to involve two Sith characters infiltrating the Jedi Order and acting like Jedi. This is described to be a flash forward and takes place during the events of Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. In this scene, these two Sith characters are said to be a part of the Jedi Council somehow, and that both Mace Windu and Yoda are nowhere to be seen in the footage for some odd reason. The first major red flag that was actually signaled to Disney executives. Now, obviously, excluding Mace Windu and Yoda, we talked about this last week, about how the executives were very much scratching their heads over this, uh, they know basic lore about Star Wars and stuff like that because they have John and Dave informing them on proper lore that is to be used. The problem here is how Kathleen Kennedy completely removed Mace Windu and Yoda from the Jedi Council. They're nowhere to be seen apparently in this test footage, and the two Sith acting like Jedi are said to be a part of this Jedi Council. Now, in case you guys haven't been following the past six months, Leslie Headland did say that basically the Acolyte is going to have a big retcon and multiple retcons toward the Phantom Menace and just the entirety of the prequel trilogy lore. And this is most certainly one of them, and Disney execs are now calling for this to be removed. They want to get rid of this, they view this as a big red flag. They themselves even know that this would cause a lot of controversy and a lot of backlash from hardcore fans, and even casual fans, mind you. So on to the next big thing here. We know that Kathleen Kennedy is proud of her work on the Acolyte, and she's been very much defensive over how the Disney executives have been calling action on really removing key scenes from the opening sequences and the ending sequences and even random moments between episode 1 and 8 of The Acolyte. So it's been a very big mess right now, even bigger of a mess than Skeleton Crew. And yeah, sure, the on-location shooting is going along smoothly, but the in-studio footage, not so hot right now. It's not going along all that well. 
So that brings us to the next big thing. Now the test footage is said to be similar to last week's, except in this scenario, the two Sith acting like Jedi are said to be training against each other inside of the Jedi um, inside of the Je Jedi Temple, and training through the ways of the Jedi to hide their dark side essence. This is said to be a scene driven by Leslie Headland, and was given the okay by Kathleen Kennedy, and that this is of course creating a big stir up over at Disney. With John and Dave now involved with the Acolyte, they are calling for this scene to be removed, completely axed altogether, and of course to take out that actual moment in the final cut of chapter one, and replaced with new footage to keep the 60 minute mark running time for the first episode of The Acolyte. The removal of Mace Windu and Yoda is said to have been something authorized by Kathleen Kennedy, and serves as one of the big retcons to The Phantom Menace. Now again, this is serving as a flash forward, all right? This is not saying here that the Acolyte takes place during the events of The Phantom Menace, but it rather is just gonna toy around with flash forwards, all right? So it's gonna jump ahead in time in certain areas. It's also gonna have some flashbacks there where it's gonna date back to events before the High Republic. Stuff like that will be a part of the Acolyte series. In fact, John and Dave are trying to reinstate deleted old Republic flashbacks that Kathleen Kennedy got rid of early on in the process and bringing those back into fruition. So there's a lot of things happening with the Acolyte series. I mean, there's a lot of problems coming out of the show and I'm not all that surprised. I mean, it's still slated for a spring of 2024 release. I still believe it's gonna get delayed again until summer. That's my, of course, two cents there. But overall, this latest example of the opening scene really creating a very big red flag for Disney executives is not all that surprising. When you have a retcon as big as this one, it really makes you wonder, why would Disney have allowed this to happen in the first place, right? Well, because in the very beginning, even well before Bob Chapek took over back in 2020, this was a Bob Iger authorized project by contract for Kathleen Kennedy, so they really couldn't get rid of it. It's too expensive to cancel from what it seems, even though Disney does want to cancel the show. Some of the executives do, others don't. I agree that the show could very well, you know, have been a benefit if they canceled it altogether because if they keep these retcons in place, it's only gonna cause more damage. So that's why they have to stay on their A game, make sure that they get rid of scenes just like this one, and kind of just keep it afloat. That's why they have John and Dave on board. They're keeping this show afloat. It may not be a huge success, but it may very well be a decent show if they can get th some things right here and there. So overall, with that, with that, of course, you know, being all put out there and said, you know, what do you guys think about this whole situation? Where do you see the Acolyte going? Do you think it's going to get another delay? Do you believe that this scene in particular does serve as a red flag? I for sure do believe it does, you know. So anyways, guys, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.